see now um, is a forested olive near and one part of this had a serious, serious bushfire go through. Um, yeah. But this is near this off-grid town that I will be covering um, hopefully in later videos. And this whole town doesn't have the electricity connected. Uh, and they were told by the state government at the time when the power system was owned by the state government you can have the electricity connected and they said you know what no the reason they didn't want yuppies having holiday houses out here or any sort of city types out here and they believed that by keeping the power off it would discourage them uh, from making holiday homes out here and they indeed were correct although one place has started and does have uh, you know sort of people come and stay as a weekend stay place but none of them really made houses here um, and you may say oh that's mean no stuff it it's our town you know it's not my town but it's their town um, and the thing is you know you got to talk about uh, like <laughs> look with me since 1848 we've been in the town and the area that we're in since 1863 that's when the land that i'm on was bought other properties were bought in 1848 they have since been sold by other relatives uh, who inherited them um, but you know you get a sense of of um, what it's like uh, for us when outsiders come in and start ordering you around uh, it doesn't go down well. We've got our own way, we've got our own culture and we don't need other people uh, to turn up and tell us what to do. Many of the people that do only stay for six months or two years and make asses of themselves when they do stay um, in that short time that they're there for. Uh, but yeah, it uh, just gives you an idea of what the, the place is um, like.